Messi keeps on rolling in the League's Cup. Two of the favorites to win the League's Cup, Club America and the New York Red Bulls, were eliminated last night. The League's Cup is heating up. I'm sorry that I've been MIA for a little bit. I haven't posted a video in like a week. I was going through some stuff uh, behind the scenes, but we are back in full swing for the League's Cup. Let's get into these round of 16 matchups. It was absolutely insane, this round of 16. We had five games go to penalty kicks we had one that was also resolved in another penalty kick so there's penalty kick galore uh two mexican giants tigres and club america both out let's get into these games let's take a look let me pop up my screen here and let's start with the first game fc dallas versus inter miami and man messi just keeps on going off he had two goals and technically an assist on that own goal now i'm going to try something a little bit different i know i can't show full highlights Due to copyright reasons, but I'm trying to circumvent it by going on Twitter or X.com or whatever you want to call it and show off some of the plays. So at this point, Inter Miami is down 4-2 in the 80th minute. Surely it's over. Surely the Texas heat was too much for Messi and Inter Miami. Surely it was all gone, but with Messi on the field, you can never count him out. Let's look at the first free kick that he that he uh, made right here, that he kicked, whatever. And this right here to me is still unexplainable. I don't know what that defender is doing. I, I guess he's trying to just put it out for for a corner. But so hard done here. Messi whips in a ball. And yeah, the FC Dallas defender just heads it into his own goal. Absolutely insane scenes there. I have no idea how this happens. I don't know. It, yeah, I don't know. It's just unexplainable there. But then a couple of minutes later, Messi comes back with a free kick, and you just have to believe that he's going to put it into the back of the net. Absolutely bends it like Beckham. The game gets tied 4-4. Four to four. They go to penalties, and they end up throwing up a homegrown player, 18 years old, and he misses the only penalty for FC Dallas, meaning that they lost in penalties against Inter Miami and Inter Miami and Messi keep on rolling. And you can't help but think that I believe that the officiating for that Orlando game was a little bit dicey. I don't want to start the speculations. Club America kind of hard done last night as well. You can say that they're trying to get the bigger Mexican teams out for Messi to have an easier way to the final. I don't know. I'll leave that up to you guys. Let's go on to the next game. Garrett Taro, which is the Cinderella story of the League's Cup. They weren't even projected to make it out of their group. They made it out of their group, went up to New England. Uh, New England scores late in the 78th minute to tie it up. They go to penalties, and Garrett Taro keeps on going. I'm sure I'm probably saying that name wrong. But Garrett Taro, the absolute Cinderella story in this League's Cup tournament. And then let's, look, let's just take a look at this Charlotte versus Houston Dynamo game. So Houston scores early. 10th minute, they get on the board. I'm going to be honest, I didn't watch this game. But Patrick Agui, Aguimang scores in the 80th minute. And then let's take a look at this 81st minute, man. What happened here? So you're going to see the goal here in the 80th minute. Great ball over the top. A little bit of pushing and shoving on the defender. Great first touch. Gets past the goalie and it's in. 80th minute, the game is tied. Charlotte gets on the board. 1-1 versus Houston. And I think this is right off of kickoff. There's a pass back to the defender here. We're going to get to it. The pass comes in. You can see it come into the defender. The defender is going to pass it off back to the goalie. And wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, uh own goal just barely makes it in the pole in the post i mean and you can see they just announced the charlotte goal they just announced the first goal this is right off of kickoff absolutely terrible scenes and the game was in houston i can't even imagine what the houston fans were feeling you see the pass back from the midfield defenders going to pass it back good pressure here by whoever this guy is and wow what a way to get eliminated that absolutely sucks for houston Houston Dynamo eliminated against Charlotte. And, man, I feel for that defender. I feel for the goalie. I feel for the team. Then let's go into the next game. We got Minnesota versus Toluca. Minnesota gets two early goals in the first half. Toluca down 2 nothing at halftime. There's a red card here. Right, I'm assuming that this came from whatever the penalty was. But Valbra Huerta scores in the 66th and then the 75th. They get a penalty there. But that's not even the craziest game that happened yesterday. As now we're going to go into... Oh, let's first take a look at this one. 
my New York Red Bulls go to Philadelphia. Now, we haven't beat the Philadelphia Union since 2019. We haven't won in Philadelphia since 2018. I hate playing the Union every single time, whether it's home, whether it's away. Absolutely hate it. I don't understand this thumbnail here. Daniel Royer hasn't been on the team for two years now, and he didn't even play in 2021, so technically three years. I don't know where they got this picture from. And we just got completely out-coached in this game. It was it was not pretty. We scored early. I was thinking, hey, maybe this this can be a little bit of a difference. We had we finally started Elias Manuel and Dante Van Zier up top. Tom Barlow was on the bench. I was loving the lineup. We score early, but then as always, we tried to park the bus, and everybody knows that never works. Philadelphia Union came so close to scoring at the end of the first half, and looking back on it, I hope they had because maybe it would have made us come out into the second half a little bit better with a little bit more poise. Doesn't happen. We keep on parking the bus. Troy Lesane, I, I mean, I've been liking him, and I think he's been doing a good job with the kind of crappy situation he's been dealt here with the Red Bulls, but the subs made absolutely no sense. We took off our whole attack with 20 minutes left in the game, unexplainable, and then it was coming. Philadelphia scores late in the game. Uh, 68th minute, so then we had 20 more minutes. We were just trying to hold on for dear life. The Red Bulls had a good little flurry there at the end towards like the 88th, 90th minute. I was thinking, okay, maybe we can pull one out late here. I guess that was kind of the game plan. Didn't work out. We go to penalties, and I was texting in my Red Bull group chat, and I literally said, I don't know how I feel about Lewis Morgan coming back off of injury in his first ever touch. Coming back, I think he left in June. He had had an injury stint prior. He's been kind of injured all year. And his first touch back is going to be a penalty in a knockout stage. I didn't like the thought process by Troy Lesane there either. Um, I feel like any time I watch a game that goes to penalties and somebody gets subbed on just to take a penalty, I feel like it never works out. And especially coming back off of injury, I texted that. And then they put him up first, which I also didn't agree with. Maybe... Let somebody else take another PK first, but also Elias Manuel has been taking PKs first. He missed, so I understand not putting Elias Manuel, and he also had been off the field at that point. Omir scored the, the game winner against NYCFC from the spot. He also wasn't on the field as well. Uh, I think Ronnie needed to be subbed in. I think I, I was texting in the group chat, and I said, hey, we need a second goal. Philly's going to score sooner or later. Everybody felt it. The goal came. There was no response from the Red Bulls, I think. Troy tried to do too much. I think the subs made no sense. Um, yeah, we just got completely outplayed. Carlos Cornell ends up making a save, but then Daniel Edelman, he did send one up and hit the crossbar. I love Daniel Edelman, so I'm not going to speak poorly about him, but I don't know. Sean Nealis had a great penalty. Let's see who else was on the field at the time. Um, yeah, even Frankie, I, I don't know. Tolkien did score his pen. I don't know. It was just a tough game overall for the Red Bulls. I, Tom Barlow got subbed on in like the 55th minute. I'm not the biggest fan of Tom Barlow. Uh, is what it is. We're eliminated from, from the League's Cup against Philly. It hurts. I think Dante Van Zier also had a a chance early in the sec, in the first half. We could have made it 2-0, but it is what it is. No point in looking back now. Absolute heartbreaker in Philly. And then Jim Curtin came out, and he had a couple of words to say. We move on. We have two weeks off. We have the playoffs to hopefully try to get into. Hopefully this will this will help us out in trying to make the playoffs. Hopefully these two weeks we can we can do something. But I don't know. Anyway, I'm rambling at this point. Let's go into the craziest game of the night: Club America versus Nashville. This one was absolutely insane. You see here, 78, uh, 61st minute, Walker Zimmerman gets him on the board. Diego Valdez Contreras, 78th minute, ties the game. In the 94th minute, Julian Quinones, off of a penalty kick, makes it 2-1 for Club America. Club America seemed to be rolling. Seemed like it was all over. But then comes in, what's his name? Sam Surridge, his debut and he scores this absolute banger in the 98th minute to tie the game once again, take it to penalties, 
Beautiful cross in, beautiful header, and Nashville ties it up 2-2, two to two, 98th minute. There was only five minutes given, but I'm assuming that a lot of time was lost there for penalties. I also wasn't watching this game because I was watching the Red Bulls lose, unfortunately. Absolutely insane scenes in Nashville, but that wouldn't even be the craziest thing to happen as Club America goes into the PKs. It's tied. Nashville steps up, and the Club America goalie stops the penalty, and it seemed like it was all over. Club America fans running onto the field, celebrating. Nashville with their heads down, it's all over. But wait a minute, Club America's goalie, his foot was off of the line ever so slightly. It goes to VAR. They took like 8 minutes, 9 minutes, 10 minutes. It took a long time. There was security running around trying to get people off of the field. And VAR comes back and says that Club America's goalie was off the line. So Nashville has to retake the penalty. Nashville scores the penalty. It keeps on going. And then Club America misses. And Club America is out of the League's Cup. By far the favorite after Chivas absolute crazy scenes down in Nashville, but Nashville is able to pull through. Then we have Tigres versus Monterrey. T Monterrey with a penalty late. Hold on, let me take a look at this here. Oh, yeah, these are some of the scenes. I mean, Club America, their fans have been all over the place in this league's cup, but we don't want to talk about that. Let's talk about this Tigres versus Monterrey, 92nd minute. And you tell me, do you see a penalty here? There's going to be a collision. So there's a Monterrey player coming in. There's a collision with the Tigres player. If they can play it here. There's a collision with the Tigres player. The Tigres player goes down. And watch this leg right here. What was decided was that this leg was not in a natural position. That it came up and hit the Monterrey player. I don't even think that that contact is enough to bring down the Monterrey player. He barely scratches his hamstring. I don't see a penalty. I think Tigres are hard done by this. But Monterrey gets the penalty. They put it away. And that's the game. And that was what? The 97th minute. Oh my god days this league's cup has been insane and then the last game was lafc versus real salt lake real salt lake doing well but lafc way too much dennis buanga with the with a uh, brace here 52nd 56th minute and that finishes off the league's cup round of 16 absolutely crazy scenes i'm loving this tournament but i feel like it's a little bit disorganized I, obviously i was upset with the red bulls that club america game was wild Inter Miami just keep on doing it. I personally think that they're getting favored, and I think that the League's Cup wanted Club America out of there. They're probably going to want LAFC out of there against Monterrey, but I personally think that it's it's just built for for Messi to win it. He's got to win something for the publicity, for the league, for everything. It's all politics. But now let's look forward to the quarterfinals, and Philadelphia are going to host Querétaro, and I. I'm assuming that Philadelphia is going to make easy work out of them. I was excited that they went through and not New England because hopefully the Red Bulls would play them, and I think the Red Bulls would easily beat them as well. But Philadelphia probably going to pull out the win there. Enter Miami hosting Charlotte. I'm assuming that Messi and Miami are going to make it through, even if it is by by way of the refs. Nashville versus Minnesota. I think Nashville could pull this out if they just beat Club America coming out of the environment that they just came out of. I'm sure that they're hype. You could see the fans just throwing absolutely everything. Nashville seemed to love it. Seemed to just put it in their face like this is our house. So great scenes there as well. LAFC versus Monterrey. I feel like this will be the most competitive out of the four games left. I can see Monterrey winning. I can see LAFC winning. But I honestly think that this League's Cup is also built for an MLS team to win. So I wouldn't be surprised if they get Monterrey out of there and have LAFC go on. So that would put Philly versus Miami. And I think Miami is going to make it all the way to the final. Although Philly could give them a run for their money. And it would be in Philly. So Messi going to Philly for the first time. I'm sure that would be absolutely insane for him. Uh, even though he did just go to Texas and face the Heat, he's going to have to face the Heat from the Philly fans. And maybe Philly's able to pull out an upset there. I would see Nashville versus LAFC here. LAFC, I feel like, could beat Nashville. It would also be played in LA. And then probably LAFC versus Miami. And that will be 
That will be the final there. LAFC versus Inter Miami in LA just makes sense. My, Messi goes to LA and wins his first ever trophy. Goes to Hollywood. Goes to the Boulevard. They probably give him a star on the Boulevard. They probably give him absolutely everything. So that's the League's Cup re recap here. You you can see that I'm wearing my Benfica jersey. Benfica is back in play today against Porto for the Super Tasa. Um, in Portugal, the game is actually just about to start. It's 346, so I'm pretty sure it just started at the time that I'm recording this. So I'm going to go watch that. Maybe I'll come back and do a video about that. Again, I'm sorry for being away for a week. I had some stuff going on. But we are back in business in full swing. Uh, Red Bulls will be off here for, for two weeks, 12 days, something like that. We'll be back against DC at Red Bull Arena. Then they have Miami coming to Red Bull Arena, so I won't be at that game because that YouTube money isn't hitting yet. Uh, and then they go on the road, they go to Philly, they go to NYCFC. So game day vlogs are probably gonna be probably gonna be gone here for a little bit. European football is coming back. Uh, American football, the Giants gonna start here pretty soon. The Yanks going into the playoffs, hopefully making this push here pretty soon. So I'll start branching out into other sports to make these videos. Like the video and subscribe to Crossover. If you made it this far in the video, just go ahead and comment the little red ball emoji for me so I know that you made it all the way to the end of the video. If you guys want to watch some more videos, I'll pop some up here. Hit the subscribe button. League's Cup fully underway. How do you guys see these quarterfinals going? Let me know down in the comments below. I appreciate each and every single one of you guys for watching. We're out of here. Peace.